With a lot of people leaving Waves, I decided to make a list of some of my best alternatives to some of Waves' most popular plugins. Now, I've used a lot of Waves plugins myself, and I've used a lot of other third-party plugins. And so I thought, I'm in a good spot to share some insight with you on this. So my friend, let's dive in. Okay, so here we are with our first plugin. This is H Delay from Waves. It's a, it's a great delay plugin, it really is, but there's an alternative that I love just as much, if not more. Now, I have a vocal sample here that sounds like this, and just so you can hear H delay. I wish we could begin again. Okay, it basically just does delay stuff. You have your feedback, you can set the time of the delay. There is a filter. There are four analog colors, which just means like four different types of saturation or analog style coloration. And then you have the option to do a ping pong, which would sound like this left and right. I wish we could begin again. It's a cool and good plugin, but like, here's the alternative that I just love so much more these days. It's called Echo Boy. This is a plugin from Sound Toys. And once you buy this plugin from Sound Toys, you own it and you own the updates and it's fantastic. Here's what it sounds like. I wish we could begin again. I now, obviously, I could tweak the settings on both of these how I want. For example, here's the ping pong setting. I wish we could begin again. But here is why Echo Boy, in my opinion, is better. First of all, here's what people don't know about Echo Boy. Check out this tweak section. I can change the width of my ping pong delay. Have a listen. I wish we could begin again. I'd tell you all the things I probably shouldn't have known then. H delay, you can't do that. You have to go into the mixer page, grab your panning knob like this, and literally do the panning here. And that can cause all sorts of problems if you're trying to do reverb after. I mean, there's workarounds, but it's a headache and Echo Boy makes this so much easier here. You have the same filters and instead of just four analog colors to choose from, you have every single style of saturation and effect that you would ever want to put on a delay. There's so many options here. And in my opinion, when it gets to the presets, Echo Boy is just loaded like we have things that go even beyond delay into like vocal doubling effects and stuff listen to this super compressed double i wish we could begin again i'd tell you all. there's just so many options there's even reverbs this is one of my favorites i wish we could begin again i'd tell you all the it's like a delay reverb effect and this plugin is just so versatile so Echo Boy is the first alternative. This is Waves REQ, Renaissance EQ. This is the EQ6, so it has only six bands that we're able to use, and it does what an EQ does. I have a vocal here as an example, and we're gonna use this EQ to treat a harsh frequency, and then I'm gonna show you my favorite alternative. I told you once, baby, I told you once what I know. You got to let it go. I told you once, baby. Okay, so you can see how it's a, a little old fashioned and I ha kind of have to hack my way to finding the frequency, pulling it out. Let me show you my favorite alternative. This is FabFilter Pro Q3. This is another plugin. You buy it, you own it, it's yours forever, and you'd never look back. Let me work on that same vocal. Just have a look at how much more versatile this is. I told you once, baby. I know you got to let it go. I told you once, baby. I told you once what I know. Okay, so just as an example, I'm showing you how quickly you can pinpoint frequencies. And guess what? I'm not stuck with six bands. I can insert as many as I want. I can solo them as I listen, as you saw me doing. I can even right click it and create a dynamic EQ and it all just happens magically inside this amazing FabFilter Pro Q3 and once I started using this 
I never looked back to REQ ever again. Now, before we get to the third plugin alternative, I made a pretty sizable list of plugin alternatives for Waves, and the link is in the description just for you. I've done quite a bit of research on this, and I've seen some great contribution ideas from other producers as well, so this list is growing by the day. So you gotta check that out, and let's get into the third plugin alternative. Okay, plugin number three, this is Waves J37 tape. It's an emulation of a tape machine, and it's great at just doing what a tape machine does, but it's not the be all end all. For me, this plugin does have some cool effects that you can do, but I don't end up ever really using any of these effects. I just like to run my mix through tape sometimes. And the truth is there are alternatives to this plugin, which are equally great. So I just grabbed the mastering tight and open preset. Let's just have a listen to this on our Audio Edges theme music. Nice. Now I'm just running it through tape. Obviously we could drive the saturation, we could play around with it, but if you're just looking to run your mix through tape, this is actually what I've been using lately. This is from Slate Digital and it's just called Virtual Tape Machines. It is just fantastic. There's a preset that I put together based on a Chris Lord LG strategy I watched and half the time I just end up going to this preset and it sounds amazing every time. It's really simple. A couple tape settings that you can tweak here to sound best for your style of song. But if you're just running through tape, this thing sounds awesome. You can drive the input and the output automatically gain matches. Let's just hear what it sounds like as well on the theme music. All right, so there are some great tape emulation plugins out there and we're not stuck at Waves. This is from Slate Digital. All right, plugin number four. Here is the famous R verb from Waves. I used this reverb for a long, long time and I liked it a lot. It did a good job, but I haven't been using it as much lately since I found the alternative I'm gonna show you. Uh, I have a piano as an example. This is just the hall setting. Let's just have a listen and I'll dial in a little bit of wet on this plugin. Nice. So there you can hear the hall, but let me show you my favorite alternative. This is RC48 from Softube. This came with one of the native instruments packages I bought, and it is just incredible. There are a lot of amazing presets in here. This is one of those plugins that you may actually own, but you don't know it yet. So if you have anything from native instruments, go check. You might actually own this plugin already. Just for piano sake, let's grab this grand piano piano preset. Oh, there's also piano cloud. I think there's also a pop piano somewhere. Oh, this one's off. Let's do this one. Piano large recital. Okay. Let's just grab this. Ooh, okay. Yeah. I do want the large recital. Let's dial that in a bit just so you can hear what we're working with. Just beautiful. A couple of different options we tried out there and almost 10 out of 10 times, I can find a great sounding reverb for almost anything using this. So this has become one of my go-tos among a few other reverbs that I love from a few other companies. All right, and for number five, I wanna just talk about analog emulations. Here we have the SSL channel strip from Waves and the CLA 76 from Waves. Now these are great analog style plugins and they do do a great job. I've used this CLA 76 a ton in my career, but the truth is there is a different company with plugins and I have been using these more and more and more and I'm gonna show you what they are because they just sound fantastic. This is Virtual Mix Rack from Slate Digital. If you've used this before, you know what the hype is about. These sound great. Now, there's something for everything in here. Like we have a, a distressor emulation, we have a Neve Q. This is the SSL. And if I want to find that 1176 style compressor, there it is right there. This is fantastic. These plugins sound great. I'm using them more and more and really, really enjoying them. I really like how these sound, and it's a really great option, especially when we're talking 
talking about affordability. These Slate plugins, it is subscription, but it's affordable subscription. This is probably the Slate stuff. I would say it's one of the best bang for your bucks on the market. You get a ton of stuff. It all sounds great. And we can respect that Slate has been subscription from the beginning and not changing things up on us. So this is an awesome option if we're talking about analog style processing. And I hope that this list of plugins will serve you going forward. So those five plugin alternatives are a great place to get started if you are looking for an alternative to Waves. But the real juicy list is waiting for you in the description. It is absolutely free as a gift from me to you. The link is right there. So go grab that now. I think you're going to love it. Now, if you want to know where all this started, just click over here on this video and you're going to get the full breakdown. All right, I'll see you in there and talk to you soon.